Hello, foam flinging friends and family. I'm Daddy. Daughter's around here somewhere. Our hobby has changed a lot with the introduction of the Nexus Pro and the Game Face Prime. They're more accurate than we've ever had before, and they're readily available off of store shelves. That's really the big difference. So now we have blasters that warrant the use of a red dot scope. I know a lot of you might be new at this, so here's a beginner's guide to how to use a red dot with a Nerf blaster. Some of you may be so new at this that you don't understand how a red dot works yet. Let's go over that real quick. Traditionally, iron sights have a rear sight, and a front sight, and a target, and all three need to be lined up in order to get an accurate shot. With a red dot, you just have the dot and the target, and as long as they're lined up, you should have an accurate shot as long as your sight is zeroed in. Even if the dot isn't in the exact middle of your field of view on the sight, as long as the dot is on the target, you should have an accurate shot. Your red dot optic should have adjustments for windage and elevation. Elevation adjusts your shot up and down, and windage adjusts your shot left and right. If you look closely at your elevation adjustment, you can see mine says the word up, and you spin it counterclockwise. So if I spin that counterclockwise, my shots will go up. If I spin it clockwise, or the opposite of up, my shots will go down. The same thing basically holds true for your windage. You can see mine has an L marked on it, so if I turn this one clockwise, my shots will go to the left. If I turn it counterclockwise, my shots will go to the right. So basically, if your shots are going high, you want to adjust down. If your shots are going low, you want to adjust up. And if your shots are going left, you want to adjust right, and if your shots are going right, you want to adjust left. Let's take a look at it on the range. We're 40 feet away from that bucket. First thing I'm going to do is take some preliminary shots to see where I'm at. I'm consistently shooting left of the target, so I'm going to adjust my windage to the right. Still a little bit too much left. I'm going to go a little bit more to the right. That's a misfire. Okay, that's pretty good. So this time, I've adjusted my sight to be too high. We should be shooting over the bucket. Definitely. So now, to lower my shots, I'm going to adjust my elevation down. Seems a little high still. There we go. Here comes daughter. Hey daughter. Hey daddy. Go clean up darts. Okay. Sweet. A couple of final thoughts about red dots. The distance at which you zero your red dot should be one that you commonly find on your playing field. So if you're always engaging between about 30 to 50 feet, you should zero it at about 40 feet. That would be good. Also, we should get the nomenclature correct. Red dots are typically not a scope. They are a sight or an optic. A scope implies magnification. Red dots usually don't have those. Well. 
Hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.